the basement of the Octagon Hall, we first take you into the winter kitchen. This is where Mary Elizabeth, Andrew and his first wife's daughter, caught her dress on fire and sustained burns that later killed her. The leather workroom is said to contain a portal in the corner in which spirits come and go. Benjamin was allegedly a slave of Caldwell's and an expert leather worker that helped make shoes, saddles, and other items for Andrew and his brother's leather export business. This room looks as if it may have been used as a library and strategy room with its large table, chairs, and books. The closet has a hole in the wall that they used to hide Confederate soldiers in until it was safe. Hey lovelies, welcome back to our channel, Gut Spooky Society. We are for the first time ever in Franklin, Kentucky at the Octagon Hall Museum. And I'm standing in front of a fireplace with a portrait of Andrew Caldwell and a second wife, Harriet Caldwell. Andrew was the original builder of this and owner of this house. We are so excited to be here tonight. There is so much going on, except it is about 103 degrees. So we're gonna stay inside for a while, even though there's lots of cemeteries, family plots, etc. outside. But we've got a lot to bring you tonight. So Dale, it's time to get spooky. Can anybody come out here in the hallway and talk to us? For the view. Don't forget to do panning of all the rooms. Flashlight. Oh, hi. Thank you. We are now in the basement. Can You could see it okay? Yep. We're now in the basement in the hallway. Can you turn that flashlight or torch back on again? Please? That was great. Thank you so much. Can you do that again, pretty please? Or would you like to, um, appear in front of this camera in my hand? Do you have those two on? Nope. Either. 111. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sure enough. Well, that then. Okay. Okay, can you do that again? Turn that torch back on? We would really appreciate it. Or you can come out War. of that. What? War. War? Are yeah. you serious? W A R. And that you didn't just turn it on, did you? No. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Were you in the war? You were. Yeah, we know. Are you okay? <laughs> Why do you keep asking us that? Yes, we're okay. Are you okay? Are you in the closet? Oh, I got a really bad headache. Sweet. Avoid. Avoid, yeah, I'd like to avoid a bad headache. Come on out of that closet. Nephew. Nephew? Ooh. Wait. Wasn't John Caldwell Andrew Caldwell's nephew? I, I believe so. I, I think so. It was either nephew or cousin or something. And that's how he knew to come here. I'm pretty sure I heard nephew. Was... Yeah. Can you turn that off? Okay. Are we speaking to John Caldwell? Can you turn that back on? Turn that back on if we're speaking to John Caldwell. Mm. 
We would love it if that's who we're speaking to. Elderly. Elderly? Okay. Is there somebody elderly down here? I can't see those balls, so you'll have to tell me if they do. Oh, anything. I'll tell you. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Because I'm hoping it comes out of that closet. Right. It comes right down the aisle. Oh, that's right. The closet's down there. Yeah. Did yours say closet? Brother. Brother. No. No. So, brother came up earlier. We should have looked that up to see if he had a brother. That was me. Okay, you turn that torch on, but why are you turning it on? Are we talking to John Caldwell? He's turning it on if we're talking to John Caldwell. Again, we really want to talk to you, so please don't be hesitant. Thank you. John, can you turn that off, please? Please turn it off. Thank you. Uniforms blue. So we've had gray. We and had gray blue. and blue. Yep. And there were one. Gray. what? One. Like J U A N. Oh. <coughs> um. So we had gray and blue. And there were gray and blue here. Right. <coughs> right. Is Juan here? You know what would be fabulous? Priest. What? Priest. Priest? Do you need a priest? You know what would be fabulous is if you shut that closet door for me. That thing is really wedged tight against the floor. Is it? It would take a lot to move that door. It would be so awesome if he would just walk down the hallway one time yeah. and just touch each one of those little round balls. That would just cause <clears throat> a headache again. Oh my gosh, get off my head. Come right at me. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty bright. I have a ringing in my ear again. Thank you so much. Could you please walk down the hallway and touch each of those balls? That would really, really, really make our day or night. X. X. X? There's <coughs> probably an X in this room. Ooh. Okay, not feeling good. Mm. That was me. Okay, I'm not sure what you're trying to tell us. Can you turn it off? Is this still John? 
turn that on if this is still drawn. Is Mary Elizabeth out here? Hmm. Are we talking to somebody new? Do you not want to talk to us at all? Nurse. Prison. Nurse and prison. Okay. Yes, I'm sure there was lots of need for nurses. And you may have felt you were in prison. Can you turn on that torch? Now it's moved to my stomach again. Okay, well, we're going to go in the kitchen because we've got the upstairs to do yet. So thank you so much for turning on that tour. Christine. Christine. Christine? Hmm, okay. Ray. 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 Ray, are you here? Help me. I would love to help you, but you've got to help me help you. Find a way to tell us what you need. Walk out of that closet and down the hall and we'll help you. That's a dog barking. I was like, what is that noise? Oh, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Joe and... Sharon. Hmm. Again? Again. Okay, Sharon. Well, we're going to go in this <coughs> kitchen. You can come in here with us if you want help. Yes. I have a flashlight in here going on on the chair. Thank you. So I put a flashlight on that chair. Sweet. Okay. Because that's the chair that supposedly they don't like you to sit in. There it is. Okay. Flashlight. Thank you. Is it going? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Can you turn that off, please? And then I have a cat ball here. Okay. Flashlight and cat ball up there on the... Awesome. Cat ball. Cat ball. That's a real... You have a cat ball and her cleavage. Yes. <laughs> That's a real piece of bread. It is? Yes. My God. Um, so, for the viewers, we're in the kitchen. This is where Mary Elizabeth's dress caught fire, and she died, I think, like seven days later from yeah. it. Yeah. So, um, we did get the word slave right before <laughs> clean. Yeah, I bet it was clean in here. We did get the word... Niece. Huh? Niece. Niece. Slave. And Dale may have turned it off right after or right before we got the word slave from when we left the hallway. So we did just want to mention that. Can you turn that torch back on for us? That's 
We would love it if you would turn that torch back on. We heard that that chair is stop. Kind of, what? Stop. Stop. Stop what? This battery's dead already, and it's only been filming for 27 minutes, and I, it's fully charged when I brought it down here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay. It would be great if you went and touched that shiny ball on that mannequin right there. That was me. We know Mary Elizabeth doesn't like to come in here. And I don't blame her. But what's up with this chair? May I sit in it? Was that your belly? Yeah. Will you turn that torch on or touch one of these shiny balls if it's okay that I sit in that chair, that rocking chair? Please. Will you turn that torch on or touch one of those shiny balls if I'm not allowed to sit in the rocking chair? still have a horrible headache. It could be just be from being tired. Yeah, I'm not feeling dizzy at the moment. No. But my stomach's loud again. <laughs> Since I come down here, mm -hmm. it starts rumbling. That's crazy. I really want to come and sit in that chair. I think you should do it. They didn't say no. True. But they didn't say yes either. Is there a slave in here? Where am I going to put the torch? On the corner of the table? Yeah, I could I could see that there. I hope that's said okay. It's hard to do one-handed. Okay, I'm going to sit in this chair for a few minutes. Okay, I'm getting spikes on this. It's not doing it now, but it was a minute ago. Yeah. Huh. I don't know if you could see it or not. Okay, why am I not allowed to sit in this chair? What's up with this chair? I don't know why, but I want to kind of try to do this. Just listen for a little bit. That was Dale sitting down. <laughs> Flames. Flames. Yes. Possessed. Possessed. No. Yes, there were flames here, Mary Elizabeth. We're very sorry. It must have been so painful for you. Mm -hmm. Drip. Way. Not. Drip and not. N-O-T. She's saying that a lot tonight. I don't know why this thing was going off when I first sat down and now it's not doing anything. Yeah. Weird. 
I don't know if you can see it with the camera though. Sometimes if, if you put pressure on the trigger. I don't think I was holding it. I was touching the trigger though. Oh, okay. Hmm. I do like that meter though. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's blinking against that wall back there. It's the uh, the little blue light on the back of your camera. Uh, why is the blue light blinking? I don't know, but it always does that. Really? Hmm. I noticed that when I was filming the plasma ball. Um. Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> C. S. C. E. N. E. Scene. Hmm. Is this a scene from a movie? I find it very quiet. You. For a house that's old. Mm -hmm. You. What about me? I'm lost. Aww. We can help you if you're lost. If you tell us more, turn on a torch, touch a shiny ball. Did my camera just die? I just heard a drip, a dripping sound. That was the camera. <clears throat> Did it just stop recording? No. Yeah. What was Nothing that noise? It sounded like a drip of water, I swear. It was the camera, though. Oh. That's the noise it makes. Slave. When slave. Slave again? Yeah. That's the noise it makes when you push a button. Who's pushing the buttons on my camera? That's weird. Okay, so we got slave again. Is there a slave in here with us? Can you let us know? Doctor. A doctor. I'm sure there was doctors here. Mm -hmm. It was a hospital for a little bit for the soldiers. I'm getting tired in the dark. Might take a nap. Five. Five. Visit. Five. Psychic. Psychic. Visit. Are there five slaves in seven. here? Seven. Seven? No, there's seven. We've never gotten numbers out of her. Five and seven. Are you a friend? Absolutely. Five and seven, huh? Can you tell us what those numbers mean? Because I'm not psychic. And yes, we're here to visit. When was this house completed? Well, I think he said 1859, hmm. but then the sign on the front door, I think, says like 1847 or something, or 1847. Fireman. Fireman. So there's some discrepancies, and I forget what, I couldn't really hear what he said about that, but there's something about 12 years something. I don't know. So Carrie said she smelled beans down here. I don't smell beans. I don't smell anything like beans. No. And in this weird light, it looks like that mannequin's moving his head around. Okay. But I'm sure it's not. Help. Help. Okay, we want to help. 
if she's moving her head around and you're not getting it because we're in the dark, I'm going to kick your butt. <laughs> Uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you're a psychic. And we go upstairs, upstairs, and sweat. Oh, no, really? Chair. I'm sitting in the chair, yes. Dale's sitting in a chair. Hey, lovelies, that wraps up another episode of the Gut Spooky Society here in Franklin, Kentucky at the Octagon Hall Museum. We had such a great time here. If you're new here, Please smash that subscribe button, give us a huge thumbs up, comment, share, anything you do for free helps our channel and allows us to bring more investigations like this to you. Thank you to all of our subscribers. We love you very much. And until next time, stay spooky. spooky.